My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Atomic Crops. Let's try out Dandelion in year five. Gonna have to be heavily focused on trying to pick up the dandelions that drop. Trying to save us. Hopefully it drops early on in the season. That would be really, really kind of the game to do for us. Other than that, I need to play as safe as possible and try and prioritize. Ooh, that's gonna be really handy. Uh, and try and prioritize getting golden cupers. So if I see like the golden cuper drop, I need to just make my way to the bulb and then kill it. Uh, did, I, not getting up close and personal is literally making it like, not literally, it's making it drastically more difficult to kill that enemy. I, I didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> the the uh, ah, bird on the comeback there. Could have been brutal. No! Ah, this is, ah, all, all dodges feel drastic because you have to dodge so much earlier as this character earlier on in the game to actually do the same dodges. Because you need to overcome your inertia in one direction in order to then start going in another. It's... Oh, it's so taxing. The first season is this character is the hardest, after which we'll have a couple of upgrades. Life gets a lot easier then. Just gonna try and make sure I stay safe while I get those upgrades. Gotta make sure those birds go down first. Because otherwise, they will just. Ah, da, da, da. No! Oh my god! That's just three enemies firing at me, and it was almost impossible to dodge. Ah! Dandelion's too weak to begin with, and then way too strong at the end. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to go negative, but like, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see some changes. Harvest Shield. Laxative. I'll take a laxative there. Over the Harvest Shield happily. Oh, okay. I need to go back to base. Kill that one on my way out. Bye. Okay, no golden pupa, no dandelion in the first day. That's real rough, but it's the best I can do. The longer I stay out, the far worse off we are going to be tomorrow. Without a weapon in particular, it seems like it'll be a really bad time. Just gotta float as far as I can there to try and stay safe. Those. All right. Feeling a bit better here. Uh, prickly pears. Why did I do that? The prickly pears are the ones that are gonna grow the slowest. And that's the one that I chose to mega crop. That's not good. Should not have done that. It's probably not going to come up by the end of the day, which is going to make me look real bad. It definitely should have been the potatoes that I make a crop there. Just FYI. I'm also intentionally saving this tractor for tomorrow. Come back in time. Have I not? Uh, okay, let's get some more fertilizer and see if we can actually get that mega potato by the end of today. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, the prickly pear did come up. Thank heck. That's that's super important there. I mean, I'll make my way over here and start getting a little bit of the lay of the land. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, cool. Mm. Didn't get enough roses on the first day to be able to buy those fighting stats. I would love some fighting stats. Increases damage and move speed. Ugh. Need the fighting stats. Uh, Bidegrade is really good for us, though. In pretty much both areas. So do I take the upgrade? Let's take the upgrade. Triple shot. Okay. 
let's finish clearing out the left here because there are fewer camps to clear until I get my golden pupa. Uh, there's the golden pupa. We'll take a rain cloud so that we can fix the amount of money that I'm not making this season. And then we to combo with the rain cloud. Should also probably pick up that cow. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna swipe past the thing on my way. That was a sound. I heard a sound. I heard a sound I haven't heard before. Is that the sound of the dandelion spawning? It's not on my screen. Ah! It's... It was. It was the sound of the dandelion spawning. Okay. Ah, that's that's going to be particularly handy. Come on. Get that dandelion, thank you. Second dandelion in as many minutes. We'll sw I heard that sound again. Is that did another dandelion just spawn? It has to come onto my screen, right? They can't be asking you to look all over for any dandelion spawn. That's just not viable. Quickly charge that one out. Rain cloud. Nice. One and golden cube for me. Take a bee over a scarecrow there happily. Yeah, the clears in this area are extremely quick. Exactly what I was hoping for when I picked this up. Let's get that extra speed. Oh, character feels so good right now. Thank you for the extra speed. Ah, uh, there's the Gone Pupa and So Shield. So Shield's a good pickup. Gone Pupa is not currently showing us where it's going to, so I think I will follow it and get the dandelion. Flamingo friend, our rose is now growing instantly. I am also way too up in the business of all these enemies right now. Ooh. I need out. I need out. Let's... Scoring some extra roses on the way out, and then boom, back home. Kill you, get my roses. Oh, okay. Good lord, that could have been so much worse. But instead, it's excellent. We get all ten of these roses instantly. We have solved some of our some of our problems in terms of control over the character. Should be having a much better experience now. Finish this up. Nope, don't want to stand there while a bomb is about to drop though. And that, 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 okay. So a bunch of shields and... Heck, you know what? Water all of those and get them done really soon. I don't have to fertilize them either, thankfully. Start planting some extra seeds as well. Good, 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 good. Gives me the ability to get... I was about to say it gives me the ability to get a good weapon today, but it still does. Without having the Flying Squirrel drop rare seeds, I'm just going to go Shallow Gun with the upgrade. Possibility still exists that we get the Toxic Gun. Toxic. Oh my gosh. Uh, do I want a tree every day? I'm going to Harvest Crops destroy enemy bullets. Yeah. 
The reason this matters is because with the Toxic Gun, I can actually probably do like some serious exploring today. Maybe even get another Golden Pupa. Maybe. I mean, there, there's a teleport directly there over here. Just, just be daft to miss that. Thank you. Some extra fertilizer out of that. And then, yeah, there's really not that much left here to clear. Perfect. Avian Placenta Companion Planting. I don't really have a horse in this race yet, do I? Avian Placenta Companion Planting. So both of them are ways to get fertilizer. I'll take companion planting. Avian is only like a really good way to get the fertilizer if you also get... Actually, did I work past... I may have walked past camps that were clearable. Uh, but avian placenta is only a really good way to... Hang on. We'll use this and then go back. Avian placenta is only a really good way to get fertilizer if you have fertile eggs. And if we have fertile eggs, the fertilizer is still going to give us fertilizer. Sorry, the laxative is still going to give us some good fertilizer. So, could be worse. Trying to make sure that I don't miss any camps on the ascent here. Oh, I want the extra clip size on this right now. Oh, okay. Well handled at the very end there. We get this pig. We miss out on some... No, we don't miss out on those seeds. Thankfully, I have found my wall to dodge from here. Sprinkler head borrowed butterfly. I'll take the borrowed butterfly. Probably not going to really go for any turrets in this run. Yeah, I haven't got any turret upgrades yet, so. We do have the Flamingo friends, so all of these... Rose Camps! Oh my god, that was tragically bad. All these Rose Camps are way more important clears than they otherwise might be. No, need the, need the fighting stat. Need the fighting stat. I, I just have to push through. Fighting stat is more speed, more speed, and more damage. More speed and more damage is going to make... Exploration is so much easier. Okay, so now we're going to let that boss take a huge time traveling to me. Which gives me some time to try and set up some... Uh, some plants here. Perfect. Gotta love the combo between these two. Keep them in the poison spores. Uh, wait. It's there. Perfect. As well. Uh, three roses? Three roses is enough. I need four if I'm actually gonna plant them. Mega cropping them matters way too much. Oh, what the, 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 the. Almost. You almost got me like that. I'm only gonna mega crop the higher value seeds here as well. I mean, I shouldn't have planted the lower value seeds if I wasn't going to mega crop them. Yes, that's my bad. Should have just waited to trade them in for higher value seeds later. Because I don't think that's going to make the difference between whether or not I get the season tally bonuses at the end here. Uh, yep, I'm going to be holding off on all the rest of this. So I think what I do right now is just travel around, take out as many weeds as possible. Gets a bit of fertilizer to have done so. 
also lets me be real proactive with these enemies so that I don't have to dodge them later and then take damage. It's eating our plants, right? Nope. All good. And this should make it slower for the weed monsters to start appearing later. I want more fighting stats back in town. Like, that's yeah, super high priority for me. Come on, game. Grant them. Nothing there really appeals to me at the moment. Hopefully, I get polygamy from the mayor, because if I get polygamy, then the stuff over there would have re-rolled. Unfortunately, we didn't get polygamy. Which does just mean my stats are going to continue to suck. We didn't find any stats up here either. Alright, we're heavily reliant on the dandelion appearing early, I think, at the moment. Piercing accuracy. Could certainly be a lot worse. There are way worse combinations. I think what I'm going to do right here is actually plant and fertilize this heartbeat before I leave. Yeah. So that I have the ability later to just come back and full heal. Uh, this is a pig. Pigs are more important than chickens when especially when i have the ability to already just stamp on all of the weeds to take them out oh my god oh my god did you see all of the enemies trying to collapse in on me there what is this coordination it's supposed to be all separate. I'm not trying to corral me into a corner and kill me. That's too much coordination. Uh, okay. Still no golden pupa spawn. Sleep. The most important part of what we can do here. For so many more reasons than usual, but it usually is also. Still the most important. Let's take that and see if we can quickly take out some camps. Come on. Okay, there's the Golden Pupa. Scary Mask. Not going to take that. We'll take the Pickaxe Pack. We need to go and free this Golden Pupa before the end of the day. Happily. To be happy, brother. Uh, okay, we got the Rose. Before it despawned. It's gonna control that horde a little bit. Come on. No. Okay, we got early to Rose. No! Ha! Huh. No! Owls, get away! <laughs> Those owls are terrifying. Let me actually back to safety. Alright, good. Taking the go pole, going back home. Uh, yeah, definitely can't pull that up yet. I think I was probably going to need it by this point. Guess I'm glad not to. That said... Pretty much... Oh, hang on. Almost missed out on that. Pretty much everything else here should be... Mega crops. There we go. Oh. Get a rain cloud down as well. Try and get those to come up fast so I have some money. We still only have one sunflower. That's atypical. 
stress that that is not common. Let's get, hopefully, a bunch of upgraded... Bunch of upgraded, uh, upgraded, sorry, mega crops and fertilized broccoli before the end of the day. Okay, that bank rolls us. We got the extra drop there. You. That takes a lot of pressure off. Not just the extra dandelion. Not just having the extra money for the next day. But the combination of all of these factors. Feeling so much safer right now. Right until I go back out into combat with this character and start taking damage again. Again, try and make a crop as many of the valuable crops as possible, especially because I don't have any sunflowers to be holding this for. Not that I'm bitter about that. <laughs> yeah. All uh, right. Back in town. Good! Block bullets! Yes! Um, increased chance of a seed drop when harvesting. I'll take it. Uh, killing enemies cuts nearby weeds. Sure. Harpy. Okay, cool. Never mind. I'm marrying Rue. Yeah, both of them have extra fighting stats, so both of them are extra move speed. But, oh, okay, we, oh, feeling a lot better on my feet right now. Uh, the Rossi SMG, then go south, full clear. Yeah, on to. Didn't have the ability to get the third upgrade there, but we do have range plus damage and piercing. Should make the bottom clear relatively simple. All right, bounce. Ooh, let's even extend Dawn, see how much we can do before the start of the day. I'm gonna take Chicken Gallery because I still haven't turned down. Uh, yeah, because I got Avian Placenta in the first season bonus and I still haven't turned down Fertile Eggs. So if I see it, maybe I start taking it. Uh, though I probably need more seeds right now. I'm gonna take a chicken, just in case. It's also nice to have a chicken at the answer, at least. Let's clear all of these, rather than try and ignore and dodge them, as we might with other characters. I think I might just need to start... Oh, triple axis. We have no bees, but better than the other one. Air freshener is air freshener. Air freshener is basically sprout energy, but it doesn't give you the effect of sprout energy. Instead, it gives you the effect of air freshener. So it's it's a one-to-one -one comparison right there. It's, it's so obvious. Right. This is going to be nearby, right? Is that another stat shine above me? It shouldn't be. Great, it isn't. That uh, that solves that mystery for us. Hang on, I heard the sound. I heard, I heard the the dandelion sound. The one that I called the dandelion. Well, I didn't call it. The, I thought it might have been the dandelion sound before, and then it was. Where is it? Maybe last time I was wrong and that wasn't the dandelion sound. It just happened to also happen at the same time as I got a dandelion. I don't know what's going on there. I hope it's not that I am just missing it and everyone, like all, every single one of you has seen it constantly. Please don't be that, at least. Oh, 
buddy here. Okay. Scare them off. Take that. And then I'm going to drop that there. Then I'm going to go down here to get a tractor charge. Come back up with that. There. Not necessarily. Oh, why didn't you see that? Uh, it's not necessarily anything here I need to worry about. It played it again. What is it doing? Well, that's the full harvest this time. I feel like the health is pretty relevant. Well, uh, as just try and till as much of the soil as possible, which is actually getting us a couple of the enemies nearby down as well. And I think I will go with Nebakuri after that. Most. Okay. All's good. All's good. I mean, I should probably fertilize as many of these as possible. I do now have... Actually, I have eight roses. That's a bad thing. The reason that's a bad thing is because it means before I put this down, I should have gotten those roses. I also should have just mega cropped and fully powered out that sunflower. I mean, we're going to have a decent gun for tomorrow anyway. It's just if I see something being sold in town for roses that I otherwise would have bought, I'm going to be sad about it. <laughs> uh, that I otherwise would have bought. So I'm not sad. The rain cloud over there does actually seem pretty useful at this point. Flying squirrel, I'd be able to get three upgrades. That could be good. Splash, boss and, uh, reload and damage. We didn't get the rarer seeds, but honestly, this is good enough. Let's go find another another source of uh, golden pupa. Another dandelion. Just use that two times. Just in case that unlocks it. Don't really know what the condition for having the gopher spawn back on base is. Oh, gosh. Well, we got an extra sun. Oh, we're out of attacking the enemies there. Yeah, I think I officially just need to stay far on the outside there. That's the golden pupa. Oh my god. Uh, doesn't show on the currently seen map. Yeah, th there was no way I was ever dodging that enemy. Um, doesn't show on the currently observed map though. Coffee cup or shroom. The coffee cup is actually pretty interesting. No, wait. We don't have bloodlust. Coffee cup has become energized by killing your enemies. So if we had bloodlust, we would get double speed when killing enemies, which would actually make the character a lot more controllable in combat. Let's take shroom mates instead, though. I have missed so much in the middle of this map because I've just been sticking to the edges. So we'll need to detour inwards here. No! <laughs> Why do they have to be the same color as the floor? Give me an earthquake. Uh, as well. Also. We get some extra time. Every time I am trying to find a safe 
can't to hug the wall. There are enemies there that are just making a real bad time to try. we've got that down we can take a microchip despite the fact that we have nothing the microchip will work on oh no wait we have a drone never mind we have a drone it's all good don't need to continue that sentence but even if we had nothing it would work on still be better than the <laughs> sprout energy guess this, is it time to trade in my seeds no. I mean, I'm not going to get very many more low-value seeds before the end of the run, right? So, sure. Time to trade in those seeds and then take some damage. And Soul Crusher. I have the extra damage stuff, so I just... Should stand here and wreck you. Oh, God. Thank heck for the gourd that saved us from taking a bunch of damage there. Uh, quickly go get myself 15 roses. That's also going to extend the day pretty significantly. Yeah, we now have... An extra minute in this wave of enemies. I wonder if new enemies will even bother spawning. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like I just bought myself a bunch of time to farm. That makes a lot of these extra day length items a lot more appealing to me. Knowing this now. Still don't have enough fertilizer to actually properly fertilize them, though. A huge boost of money when those come up, at least. Uh, and now I get extra fertilizer drops when killing enemies, but specifically after I somehow disabled all it. I say somehow, I know how I did it. Disabled all enemy spawns. Bad timing right there. And now we wait, I guess. So, some more of these. Destroying the extra weeds when possible. Especially the ones where weed monsters are starting to spawn. Pretty clear sign that we've left too many of them. I'd also like to actually kill some of these enemies. Nice! There we go. With my own squirrel launcher so that I can try and get some more sunflower seeds. As I was starting out to say that sentence, immediately it got proven to be effective. Got love that fast turnaround time. Okay. Got a bit more terrain expansion there as well. I think I already know where this one goes. Perfect. It's back to base. Oh, that sound was Rue giving me something. But it also played before I had a companion, so how is it Rue? I don't know. Break is good. I gotta take that just in case we now go into here and then get polygamy and rake was re-rolled. Roach killer. Seems decent. Kills roaches if they get nearby. Or if, importantly, I get nearby them. Still nothing I really want from either of you, so... A sniper rifle? If I go this, I'm going across and north. I'll do that. 
I've got another sunflower so I can get another good weapon for tomorrow. So it's not like, it's not like we're in a really huge amount of jeopardy at all. We should be okay. Although I am going to need to brush up my accuracy here a little bit. Because I've been missing enough shots with the shotgun that a sniper rifle isn't necessarily showing up to be my speed right now. I can fix that. Just focus. Patient trophy. I'll pick up there as well. Hey, there's the fertile eggs. And we just got a turkey also, so we have some more chicken type enemies to breed. We're out of here now, right? Yeah. Take that and bounce. I'm gonna take the health now as well, just because again, starting to get a little concerned. I'm also going to get the mega rose there to try and extend the length of the day so I have more time with this sniper rifle. I can go north. Okay, to be fair, that was a small enemy that I was aiming at. Okay, the was there is something available for you and the is getting it uh, picked up. Right? And I think they're using the same sounds for your companion spawning something as for the season spawning a dandelion. That's my guess as to what's happening here. Uh, take a hot wire there. Okay. Golden Ho, laser track. I'll take the laser track because Golden Ho really doesn't make sense when I already have so much control right now. Okay, that one was just the terrain blocked the hit. Uh, I have Trophallaxis, don't I? Yeah. No, wait, hang on. I do. Yeah, bees, water, crops. Sure, let's take a bee. Now, that might have said hummingbird, but it's a bee. In the same way a turkey is a chicken, and a grass-fed cow is still a cow. From which I can only assume that turkey means grass-fed chicken. And that hummingbirds are just insects that have managed to eat grass. This is what the game is teaching. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're finally at the very end, but I was very terrified there. I mean, did I need to be that terrified? No. I have a reasonable amount of HP left. Never mind. Less reasonable amount of HP now. Back to Terra. Thank you to the Gord for blocking that attack. There's a reason that I was so quick to buy the Gord when I saw it. Not only is it just generally good, but especially is this character. What I'd like to do is just clear out the rest of this base before I leave. Especially getting that extra. Okay, so the golden cube we up there was Bundit Foot, which is a full 50% increase in our luck. I still don't know what that does. I would wager that the community may not know what that does either yet. Might be one of those things that ends up getting data mined to explain. Let's pull all of those up and really, I'd have to hit there at exactly that time. Just quickly max out this season and then also get enough money for pretty much whatever gun I want ever. Seems like a reasonable thing to do there. Now that we have companion planting, especially. Not not companion planting, sorry, the uh, participation trophy. 
which does combo well with companion planting. But now that we have the participation trophy, we can fertilize a hell of a lot more of these crops because we don't have to fertilize them in order to make them into a mega crop and then fertilize that. We just plant them like a uh, mega crop and then fertilize that. As per prior. Okay, we got an extra turkey there. Love it. Another one. Dang. Just going to throw out as much fertilizer as I possibly can here. Probably should have started up at the north area where all of these are the rarest crops. Good day. Ooh, speaking of, let's make the days last longer. Polygamy! Yeah! Marry Norman. Hang on, do I actually have enough? Did I, I bought something from uh, you earlier, didn't I? Yeah, I'm going to marry you as well today. That's extremely powerful because we just got 10 extra fight stats. So it seems to have a small impact on our move speed, but... Hopefully it's it's enough to feel during the explorations. Okay, there's a little bit there that we haven't explored over here. So, I mean, we don't need to go back there because honestly, like, what's it going to be that's more powerful than going to a new area and getting the new golden pupa as well as the new rare camp? Legitimate question for myself. Is there anything? Conditionally, maybe if you desperately needed a specific animal or something like that, but I, I don't think so. So we probably head south. That's a super upgraded SMG if I've ever seen one. Let's do it. Right. I didn't unlock the path south. Hang on, did I unlock this one though? Let's see if that worked. I did! Alright, fine. Let's take the bubble shield so I take less damage on base. So, oh, blah! Ta ta! Found you. I don't know what spawned it. Do I just have to constantly be on edge looking for one? Uh, like, I'd prefer if instead it was every dandelion you get from a golden cuba is twice as powerful and then no other one spawned. Because then you don't just weirdly have this extra element of randomization that doesn't seem necessary and seems instead to kind of just create uh, uncertainty and tension. That'd be what I'd say. Uh, some shocks. Now we know... Ooh, that's actually very close by. Let's go get that. And with it, another dandelion. Heartbeat, extra dandelion. Got, yeah, okay. Ten. Have a reasonable amount. Kind of just clearing the things that I walk past as I look for the higher tier camp again. Alright, so the chest is to the south. Can't always find the best two super early on like I did before. Stand the day, start heading south here, finish up any clears on the way. Good. Alright. Didn't think we had another camp here, so I wasn't really ready to pump on the brakes, but... Okay. Thankfully, some footwork at the end there saves a little bit of HP. Uh, I, I got enough heartbeats to get healthy again. Good. 
In fact, we've got enough heartbeats to probably get so healthy that nothing can ever kill us. So this is just a path to this area. I like that it's here. It's a neat little quality of life addition. Let's go for another Nemecru Breeze and then... Heck, I might just go home. Take another turkey and get there. I don't know why that spawned. I don't know how I knew it was there. But I did. Thank heck. So more than one can spawn in a season. More than one random one, that is, can spawn in a season. Is it in an area? Is there a random one in every... I think I might... I think I might hold off on playing this character again until their mechanics are a bit better understood broadly by the community uh, so that I can learn from that and then start utilizing those because it feels like, especially with as obscured as the mechanics for the Dandelion spawns appear to be, uh, it feels like most of my episodes are going to be trying to focus on how to get them. And... I don't know. I think you can do a couple episodes of that, maybe. But that's going to wear thin eventually. Who hit me? Who hit me? No, don't! Not allowed to die. All of the HP, thank you. That was suddenly terrifying. Uh, let's go back to getting... That mucked up. You also get a mega crop of... Carrots going on. Yeah, so if I wanted to break my score in this run, it would have been as simple as get hot wire, save a bunch of HP, get the carrots, marry someone who makes carrots grow instantly, so obviously Furiosa, and then just constantly farm a bunch of carrots. It'd also be go for fertile eggs as well as chicken calories so that I can actually bankroll fertilizing all of them. I, I mean, thinking about it, I don't know any other... I, do, I don't know many other better strats than either that or hotwire the Megaton Tractor, put the Megaton Tractor onto a bunch of trees and just constantly farm those trees. Going back out on the exploration. Spud with the full upgrade should be out. Way to go here. I'll even take a pickaxe. Saving the rest of the money for gambling at the end of the season, though. Uh, anything I should really do with those? Honestly, probably not. Maybe plant that mega crop. The rest of it's not really super worth my time right now. Golden Cooper, it spawns directly north of us, so let's go take that out now. Uh, almost. That was a heavily upgraded weapon, and uh, ah! Oh! Oh, uh, good dodge. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have been able to dodge that without like as many dandelions as I currently have. But, yeah, we have a lot of damage upgrades, and that still almost got us. This gun just doesn't have a huge damage potential. Thankful crops. I mean, it's nice. 
We got Thankful Crops. We also got Water Witching. We got the Root Soldier. Like, fighting on the farm is going to be a bit easier, but fighting on the farm was already pretty easy. With Borrowed Butterfly and a bunch of soil. Also, fighting on the farm is pretty easy. What with the fact that every day I have a super upgraded weapon. That contributes pretty heavily. Thank you for the extra rose. Is that a mega crop of roses now? I believe it is. Which should be enough to marry another person tomorrow. Borage and Watercrisp both still aren't married, so we're not going to be able to marry all five people this run. I am almost certain there is another camp here. Should be right here. Nope. Just a wide open empty area though. My bad. Let's find our way back home. Just go for as many eggs as we can get here before we leave. No, wait, we're not gonna be able to leave. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna finish the exploration of the north. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty fast right now. Maybe I can. Oh god, yeah, I, I can't, I can't. If I had the ability to go north instantly with a teleport, maybe. But because I didn't unlock that. On growth aura, farming stat. I'll take the farming stat and then leave this camp too. No! no! <laughs> oh wait, we have on a whole nother season. I thought this was going to be Bundertaker when we were done. Oops. Well, now we have a whole extra season at the end of the day. End of the day, end of all of our exploration, rather. Oops. Up. Three. That one there, and... Nice. I mean, I don't really need them to grow this season. I kind of want to save a rain cloud and an anemone for the for the final boss fight. Seems like those are pretty relevant there. Wish I had more watering. Probably should have taken a couple more grass fed cows. I don't think I was probably raiding them. For some reason, I was like, yeah, I have a huge farm. Two grass-fed cows will do it, though. I mean, also, I could get more bees or hummingbirds, as the case may be, if they've eaten in grass recently. Oh, right, yeah, I should just get the... Mega crop of roses right there. One more rose and I could have had another mega crop here. Would that matter? No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. We can still marry one person by the end of today. That's everything, right? Yeah, there's just that one camp up to the north. Other than that, yeah, there could be things around, but I'm probably not going to find them. Actually, we're also going to do camp uh, gambling in town, right? So let's quickly. Mega both of those. And then harvest as much as we can before we bounce. Nice. 75? Could be a lot worse. Ooh, crops grow faster at night. That's very good for the final fight. Tilled soil lasts longer? Sure, it means I have to walk over my less, uh, my tiles less. Growth aura, sure. And yeah, I'm probably going to marry you, but we'll see just in case there's anything super valuable over here. It costs three to get that cabbage white. Yeah, not going to bother. All right.
We get another 10 roses? Another 10 roses. So what? I'm going to be... Five short of marriage? <sighs> what can I do to try and get roses? Like nothing? Nothing will influence the amount of roses I get? Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that is the correct answer. I'm going to take all the upgrades on that and then just try and go back out on the base. Uh, I guess I'm looking for roses today. Quickly extend the length of the data two times. Also going to get some HP to come back and pick up if I need it. not what I wanted to plant there. Whoops. Yeah, I should still probably fertilize it. I mean, like, it really feels like I should stay on this farm and actually just grow all of these. At least especially while I'm energized. Twelve out here. Seventeen's just sixteen plus one, so we can do a four by four. Look, nothing's gonna damage me enough before the end of the game to kill me, right? That's just not happening anymore. Cool. Full harvest. I'm gonna take my giant health bar. And walk away. Yeah, in order to get enough roses at this point, we would basically need four more roses. We, we would need, like, a rose camp that I missed, as well as a few other camps. Like, it's, it's too much. Feel free to damage me as much as you like. I'm not going to take any of the damage. Or rather, I will, but it won't matter at all soon. Is there anything over here? Just want to already clear this whole area. That. Those are just ambient enemies next to the car. There's just a car in every area and enemies around it. They don't do anything. Um, just in case I was too hasty with one of these clears. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty certain at this point that I wasn't. All right, good. Let's bounce. All right, should we try another area? Same thing. Maybe. Let's try that tomorrow. Got some time. me all of those. Thank you so much. Those can't drop roses, just in case you were wondering. Chicken Calicry drops seeds. Maybe it drops a rose seed. Uh-uh. Unfortunately, not its style. Not its speed. Not how it do. Should have put up another Calicry, shouldn't I? Not a Calicry, sorry. Another Anemicry. Seems like that might have been the right move. Oh well, let's just get these and uh, mega crop ready for the harvest. I mean, it wasn't too late to go fertilize uh, for the sorry the fertilizer from chicken egg strat. I thought it was going to be too late when I saw fertile eggs. Really, really did. But I was also hedging really early on for the possibility of it. Said it as soon as I got the chicken calicry. Or rather, I said I wasn't going to hedge for the possibility of it when I saw the chicken calicry initially, but then I got it from a season end bonus. 
So I did go for the... Uh, actually, it's, it's, it's the avian percent with the first item. But then I got that from the season bonus and decided to build in that direction afterwards. Just in case. So after some initial doubting, I believe, the entire time. If you just ignore the beginning where I did. Which I pray that you do. Clears the... Uh, should I wait? I don't know if I should wait. That one. Are we going to wait on this one? Yeah, I guess I am. Okay, and then... Might as well fertilize these. No great reason not to. It's so much fertilizer at this point. Couldn't hope to spend it all myself. Okay. Flirt. Vinaigrette. And then I guess all I can really do past this point is buy the best item from you later. Butcher's knife with a bunch of upgrades. No, just because we are about... We're not about to fight the Bundertaker. We have another day. Oh my god, we have so much time. I'm very, very commonly, since this update, being struck by exactly how much extra time I have left now. Uh, yes, I am playing on year five, but also... That's not usually so huge of a change by the end of the run. Like, it seems like the biggest factor is the inclusion of extra items in the game that allow you to... It seems the biggest difference is the inclusion of extra items in the game that allow you to alter the length of the day. Start patrolling around here. Scanning for what we can find. I mean, that was two trees there. Hang on. Yeah, two uh, two trees in Mega Crop at this point. I mean, I'm running out of high quality seeds and I don't have a watering tractor. So that's actually probably what we're going to want to do. Time to go back to base now. Nothing here. But yeah, we should probably just mega crop those. Seems the right thing to do for the final fight. We'll set them up during the Bundertaker fight, or rather after we've killed Bundertaker, because they'll mature instantly at the end of that, so I won't have to wait so dang long for them. And back out on the exploration, I guess. Especially because I explored this area in two parts previously. Maybe I missed something? And if not, maybe I find a date? Have another mega crop tree? Oh! Okay, I think I feel comfortable at this point saying the extra lock, the better lock that we got, uh, is affecting the... It's affecting the crit chance of my gun, which I did... Uh, did assume might be the case the first time I saw that item. Uh, but it's also affecting the spawn rate of those chickens. Which I also believe I guessed the first time I saw this item. Did I design this item and then I forgot? Am I just accessing these past memories? Or did I just mention the two things in the game that seem like they are related to a luck stat? <laughs> well, seems like it might be that one, right? Great amount of damage when we don't crit right there. Way too many shots to hit a stationary target, but also I think I shot above its head two times. Like, 
when I say above its head, I think I shot its head and it didn't take damage two times. Hard to tell when moving at fast speed though. And pop that down to kill all of them other than just over focus on- Hey, I did get the date! Okay. All right, let's start some mega cropping in these trees, I think. So now what do I need? I need more apples. Where do you get apples? Get apples to the north. But that's the area I've already explored the most. And I even rechecked it. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to get those apples. Maybe if earlier on we had taken the tree saplings from Borich. Didn't know at the time it was going to be relevant though. Also, I didn't want to do another run where I like started out with going for the trees. Let that emerge. All guns fire a butcher's knife. Sure. Sure, water, Chris. Take the shallot gun with full upgrades. It's actually going to be better, I believe, than the blunderbuss for the undertaker. As well. Then finally, a... Not a tree. I mean, I, I guess I will also put down the two apples. Just in case. Okay. Very nice. So the achievement for getting four different mega trees is now a lot easier than it used to be. There are so many extra ways of getting them. But back in my day, it was much harder than this. I beat the Lost when he didn't have the Holy Mantle. Which is true, actually. Get him. Uh, okay, let's try and Mega Crop up in this direction, and then just... I guess I'm going to fill all the rest of this with pumpkin. Actually, I may just do all of this and then just harvest the pumpkin directly in Bundertaker's face, if possible. Bundertaker doesn't really get really close to the farm, though. But I might be able to use my tractor in order to get Bundertaker. Actually, can I use my tractor just straight up kill Bundertaker? Bundertaker does have an invincibility phase, so I definitely can't straight up kill Bundertaker, but... I do want to see at least what I can do. I'm not really going for score here. I could plant the rest of my rares, put down the Anemocree, then focus on the trees later. But we are already in survival and there is nothing more I can really do with my money. Like, if I did all of everything perfectly here, I might be able to gamble one more time by the end of the game. Incentives to min-max are pretty light at this point, having already bought all of the upgrades in the game. The only other sync that you really have for all your cornucopias, and that's really what you're ultimately getting when you do a run a little better, right? You get more money, and then you use that money to gamble more, and then the gambling, the only thing that affects outside is the cornucopias, which then impacts your cats. Like, that's, that's the sync that you have. I mean, it's nice. I'll upgrade some cats, but... But at this point, there's not really much for me to min-max towards. Obviously, I still have a couple goals left in this game. Most of which, or the largest of which, is beating Robuster on year 10. And now, I believe... There will be an achievement tied to that, so I, I am completely obliged to. Oh, 
Undertaker. There we go. And then... Oh! Come on! This is why I don't like invincibility phases. <laughs> I mean, it's reason one of a billion why I don't like invincibility phases. Right. Especially when they're super common and they just seem to be triggered by amounts of damage dealt. It's just boss armor. It's just boss armor that makes the enemy intangible for a while. I'm sure. I don't really have much I can do right now. I guess. Let's get some more heartbeats. Then. Start mega cropping and fertilizing sunflowers as well. Should have done that in the final fight, but it's just extra damage. Should this be egging the boss to death? I don't know. I don't think I got fertile eggs early enough to actually egg the boss to death. I think you do that when you like can't move for eggs. We are pretty far off that. All right. Uh, let's get some tomatoes down, I guess, as well. A really long end of a day here. And way too much fertilizer. All right. No, 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 no. I, I took great pains. To build those. You don't get to destroy them. Although I would like an option to do it myself. Thank you, Fertility Pro, for turning this into effectively an infinite. Alright. That's as handled as I can make it. Let's pop all those down just to get started. 10,000. Nice. Could be a lot worse than that. As well as stats, as well as a turret growth aura. Uh, yeah, can't take anything there. Just gonna spend all of my money getting five extra cornucopias there. That's what I was talking about. I'll take the shallot gun, upgrade it as much as I can. It doesn't need to be fully upgraded, though. Especially because we do have a. Rain Cloud, as well as Nighttime Harvest Moon. So all of these harvests should be real quick. Right. There again, we're going to just fertilize high crop things that we can. Yeah, this is a lot slower than I thought it was going to be, I guess. So this guy's got more health now. That's okay. He kind of needed it. Nope. Also, nope. Just going to deny all of those shots. And pop the rest of the rares down. I think at that point I'm just going to wait. We've got to have enough already on the farm in order to... Yeah, there we go. Not just on the farm, but we already had enough going towards the boss for the kill there. You're at max capacity. You get a cornucopia instead. There we go. 20... Uh, sorry, 200,000. About half of my all-time best, but all-time best is usually going to occur on the high years for the year multiplier effect. Let's go back out here and... Oh, we actually can't even increase the size of that. And we've got some uh, a lot of cats right now. So yeah, let's actually uh, play some Atomic Cats. Let's upgrade a fair few of these, and then we can start upgrading some of these. Wait, we are upgrading these, right? No, wait, I, I think I was re-rolling. Oops. Okay, and then we have None of those can be upgraded. 
you, and keep upgrading from here. So that we can get more cats in this tier, so we can try and get a tier 5 cat? Come on. <gasps> Got him. I mean, I can just get one cat of tier 6 and then re-roll it a bunch. If I want to have the ability to see all cats. But I do kind of want one of each on the farm. For the moment... It's a lot quieter on this farm now. For the moment, my name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been the Tom Crops. There is a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.